Good morning, Cabra Hall. I'm Alex Tarr. And I'm Alex Romero. Today is Wednesday, April 19th, day one on your schedule. Please stand with the prayer and the pledge. Let us remember that we're in the holy presence of God. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. We ask today for guidance, Lord, as we face a world in need of compassion. Teach us to be more compassionate towards others. Help us to reach out a hand to those around us in need whether it is helping or to just listen to someone needing to talk. We pray that you help us to be generous with our time, our hearts, and our talents. Amen. St. John Baptist de La Salle, pray for us. Live Jesus in our hearts forever. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Please remain standing for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. General, ID photos. All current freshmen, sophomores, and juniors will receive a slip in homeroom on Thursday morning for your ID photo. You should bring that slip to the activity center on a free period on Thursday or Friday to have your ID photo taken for next year. All current freshmen, sophomores, and juniors must have their photo taken. Make sure that you are in dress code, clean shaven, and properly groomed on Thursday and Friday. Activities Banquet. If you are receiving a letter for a club or activity which does not include athletics or fine arts, please RSVP online for the Activities Banquet on May 3rd. Tickets must be purchased for students and family members by this Friday. See Ms. Parisi with any questions. Leaders Needed. Are you interested in being a homeroom representative next year? Check out the week ahead from Sunday, the week ahead, for more information and a link to apply. Applications are due by Friday, May 5th. Neighborhood parking. All students should follow traffic and parking signs surrounding Cabra Hall. Tickets will be issued by BCPD for failure to do so. All day holiday. Get your teams ready. The all day holiday 7v7 soccer and 3v3 basketball tournaments will take place Friday, May 12th. Registration will be available next week. See Coach Fulton with any questions. Clubs, National Honor Society. Students wishing to apply to the NHS should have received an email on Monday afternoon from Mrs. Ms. Urban. If you did not receive the email, please make sure to email her as soon as possible. Make sure you are added to the on-campus group. Fellowship of Christian Athletes. FCA will meet tomorrow morning at 7.30 a.m. in room 108. All are welcome to attend. Long Games Club. The Long Games Club will be meeting this Thursday, April 20th. We hope to see you there. Juniors. Junior Prom. Junior Prom tickets are on sale through April 21st online. Any questions, see the week ahead for an info sheet and then Miss Choby. Tickets will not be sold after Friday, April 21st. Seniors, leadership class. We'll meet in the activity center for class today. Alumni t-shirts. All seniors are asked to log into the CHE website and complete the order form for an alumni t-shirt. All seniors receive a free shirt at graduation practice in May. Please complete the form by Wednesday. Senior College Advising. Senior College Advising class will meet next cycle starting on day one on Wednesday, April 19th. This will be the last meeting. We will discuss next steps, adjustments, summer plans, updating your admission decisions, and making your final college decision. This is mandatory. All seniors must attend. Prom seating. All seniors signed up for prom should have been emailed a prom seating form with instructions. Each senior attending prom must sign up for a table. A table is 10 seats. Once you are signed up on a form, someone from your table should bring it to SAO from 8 to 8.20 or 2.45 to 3 on Friday. Anyone not on a form turned in by 3 p.m. will be assigned a table. Athletics, JV Tennis. Congratulations to the JV Tennis team on its winning over McDonough to remain undefeated in first place. Christian Colson, Tim Gonzal, TJ Barzak, Mason Wilt, Andrews, Andy Slavov, and Brooks George won their matches. Today's sports schedule. Varsity Baseball at Spalding, 4.30 away, early dismissal at 2.30. JV Baseball versus Spalding, 4.30 home. Outdoor track at Mount St. Joe, 3.15 away, early dismissal at 1.30. JV Golf versus Mount St. Joe, 3.15, home, early dismissal at 1.45. That's all for us today, Cabra Hall. Please stay tuned for CHE weather, followed by a special, me a special message from Mr. Parisi. 
As always, use the main time room to check your email. Thank you. What's up, Calvert Hall? Weatherman Romero here once again, returning from a nice spring break to bring the local weather. And I'm gonna make this a little short, but it's with good news. We're finally gonna be gone with the cold and going into some pretty medium warm, some cold weather. Gonna start off with a high of 71, following a low of 41. Continue tomorrow with a high of 81, following a low of 58. And Friday's high is gonna be 88, following a low of 62, which is pretty good for those who are playing sports on that day. Saturday is going to have about an 81% chance of rain in the afternoon following a high of 76 and a low of 49. Sunday's high will increase, well, not really, maybe decrease a bit to 65 and a low to 45. And Monday and Tuesday's highs will both be in the low 60s and lows in the 40s. And now for Mr. Parisi. Good morning, Calvert Hall. So there are a few student activities, things going on that I wanted to make sure that everybody is on the same page about. I get to follow the weather. A couple of things um, that are coming up that I just um, think are important, and I, I know things have been in the bulletin, I know things have been in the week ahead, uh, but I don't want students or faculty to not know what's happening. First, every student and faculty member who is returning to Calvert Hall next year, so that's gonna be current freshmen, current sophomores, and current juniors, should have received um, should receive a slip in homeroom tomorrow morning to have your ID photo taken. As many of you know, next year we will not have orientation for rising sophomores, juniors, and seniors. That's our current freshmen, sophomores, and juniors. Um, and so on the first day of school, you're going to walk in and find your books on your desk and your ID photo sitting on top of your books. Um, we're going to take ID photos for next year, tomorrow, and Friday. This is going to allow us to print IDs over the summer, test them, make sure everything works. Um, and have all summer to do that rather than have you take your picture the day before school and have only the weekend to pull everything together. So this is going to allow us a lot more time to make sure that everything's working. So every returning student and faculty member needs to stop into the activity center on a free period tomorrow, um, to, um, on um, Thursday and Friday to have your photo done. A few pieces of advice. If your haircut is not in dress code, get a haircut before your photo. Mr. Mitchell is going to get all of these photos in the next two weeks probably, and he'll review them. If any student doesn't meet dress code, he'll likely give you detention and you're gonna have to retake your photo. So save yourself the hassle, get a haircut tonight or tomorrow night. You don't have to have your photo done until the end of eighth period on Friday. Now, with that said, here's another thought. If everybody waits until Friday afternoon, your last period of the day on Friday, and there's 100 kids in line, you're gonna be annoyed with me and you're gonna be like, oh, this was ridiculous. You have two full days on your first free period on Thursday. Give it a shot. If it's too full, go back later. No big deal. But don't wait until the end of the day on Friday and then be annoyed about it. So please um, help us out. Um, if um, It's probably going to be busier at the start of a period. So if you've got a free period and there's a little bit of a line at the start of a period, go back in the middle of a period or try towards the end of the period. Again, with, 12, uh, with only 900 guys getting their photos taken over um, – 16 free periods, it ends up being like 50 guys a period if everybody, if everybody went equally. It's not going to happen that way, but you have two full days to go down and get your picture taken. Teachers will not be waiting in line, but you guys will need to wait. So we're, again, doing it over two days, we hope that it won't be too long. Third uh, piece of advice, when you get to the activity center, I'm going to ask you to leave your book bags outside in the hallway. Just go in the door with your slip, get your photo taken, and go out, um, grab your book bag, and keep going. Your IDs that you're all supposed to be wearing should not be in the photo. So know that you're going to have to take that off for the photo. Fourth, there'll be an entrance and an exit door. So try and pay attention. I want this to be easy. I don't want to waste your time. So we're going to try and do this that, you know, in a way that makes some sense. So just follow directions. Make sure your ties are pulled up. Um, all of those good things to make sure that things move faster. Please be on your best behavior. Act like the good guys we know you are. No one should be late to class Thursday or Friday because you were having your photo taken. This should just take a few minutes on a free period. 
Um, if the line seems long and you're not going to make it to, to class, come back another period. Teachers will not excuse students who are late because of photos. Be responsible. You have plenty of time. Um, in case your parents are wondering, they're going to be able to order the photo in the fall just like they normally would. This is not the senior photo. The rising seniors will do their senior portraits in the fall as normal. This is just your ID photo, and it's going to be the yearbook photo for the rising sophomores and juniors. If you have any questions about the photos that are happening Thursday, Friday, shoot me an email. I'll get right back to you. So that's for the ID photos. Proms are coming up. I just want to make sure that juniors are reminded that they have to purchase their ticket by Friday. Seniors, you should have received a memo this morning in Homeroom with all the info that I have for you for, for prom. If anything is different than what's on the memo, I need you to see Mrs. Dagson today in the Student Activities Office to resolve it. All right, we need accurate info going forward. I'm going to be meeting with all of the seniors on Monday. We're going to hand out graduation announcements and lawn signs. We're going to talk through all of the things you need to know for prom. Additionally, your tuxedos that you rented from Pizzazz Tuxedo will be here on Monday for you to pick up in the Activity Center. I will explain that when we meet on Monday morning, so don't worry about that, but just so you have a heads up. Finally, the Activities Banquet is coming up. Um, you need to buy tickets by Friday. I did send a reminder email to parents yesterday if you hadn't purchased tickets. This is just for clubs and activities which are lettered. This is not for athletics. It's not for the band. It's not for the theater, fine arts. You guys do your own awards. At athletics, you do your own awards. Um, again, if you have any questions about the activities dinner, about proms, about ID photos, anything we've talked about, shoot me an email. Otherwise, thanks for paying attention and for um, having your photos taken tomorrow and Friday in the activity center on a free period. Have a great day, Calvert Hall.